are some of the things I got at Christmas time. Some of them were Christmas presents, and some of them were things I bought actually. One or two were just gifts, but not necessarily for Christmas. So, this every year I always find a few things make worthwhile showing. This is something I'd never seen before. One of my nieces, I think it was, grown up nieces, you know, she's in her thirties or forties now, gave it to me. It's called, um, it's called Jigsaw, Jigsaw, as it say, Jigsaw. And what you, and that's what you're going to see, that little creature you're going to see, it took me about an hour and a half to make, but it's a lot of fun. When, when you finish making it, that's what's left over. They, they give you, they give you a spare, piece of bamboo which is nice and something else spare and here's the finished result I've got it under a dome but I'm going to take it out of the dome I'm sitting it in the dome like that take it out and it's a very very sweet idea look at this see if I can get this in, in, I'll hold it actually with tweezers so you can get up right up the camera with a bit of luck this has got amazing Extraordinary idea, isn't it? It's quite intricate to do, but it's a lot of fun. It's a very strange idea, and of course you can take the whole thing to pieces if you want to at the end and have another go at it, but extraordinary. I think one of his eyes has dropped out, actually. Yeah, there should be a second eye there. Oh, well, it's somewhere. Oh, yes, I can just see it. It's sitting on a table. <laughs> so that was a lot of fun. It was a good, a good two or three hours on a post-Christmas um, evening to to create that, take take this and turn it into that. And that was yes, really, really quite a lot of fun. I shall have to make sure that I can find that, rescue that piece and take it all to pieces and do it all over again, because I thought it was fun to do. And another one I received, which I haven't yet actually made, is this one here. This is an extraordinary idea. This is um, a polar bear. Let's get into focus. It's made of that very nice silica rubber, and the idea is, of course, you put water in it, and there's the hole at the top to fill it, fill it up with. And you fill it completely full, and then put it in the freezer compartment uh, for a few hours, and, and then take it out, and you've got a polar bear ice cube. Well, not an ice cube, an ice polar bear. I want to know whether or not it's going to sit in the, in the glass of uh, drink this way up or this way up or lying on its back or I don't know how it's going to float, depending on where the central flotation is, isn't it? But it's a lovely idea, that, and it's, it's got this very nice feel to it as well. The actual silica rubber is a nice feel. So that's going to be a lot of fun to have a go at, especially when summer drinks come around and you're thinking of them. Now, there's a shop in Boston, I've known for many years, which has just closed down after 30 years, Linda's place. We've done a lot of business with Linda too. And right at the end, I did ask her to get me a couple of these. Well, I've got a box of these actually. Um, and I gave one of them out to Christmas presents. So I, this, this is something I bought, but I something I saw at the New York Toy Fair. This is supposed to be a, a volcano. And when you squeeze it, out pops, you know, I'll do it this way around, out pops a very fierce looking dinosaur. And when I squeeze it, it comes out. Wow, and he comes right out. The other one is a little more homely, and it's just supposed to be a tree trunk. When you squeeze that, see, oh, it's this way around. Oh, look at that. Isn't that sweet? Very nice. Just for fun, one of my nieces has got two children aged about 10 and 12, a boy and a girl. So I gave one to each of them, but just to be different, I gave the girl that, and the boy that and I asked so because I can't go there because of the uh, furloughs etc I, I can't I can't go visit them rather so I asked her for the reaction and of course rather interesting enough the girl when she did her one she went yuck and the boy said oh that's rather nice <laughs> so very different so if the girl wants one of these instead of the other I'll do a swap round but it's a little bit of fun two very very different things one really intended for a girl one for a boy but mix them up and we get all sorts of interesting effects of it. So, nice ones. Those were Schilling Company from New York. They showed it at the Toy Fair and I was very pleased. Linda also sent me a little gift which I wasn't expecting at all and I'm delighted with this. It's from, there's a company in America, I had come across this marble before. It's a beautiful object this. It's, it's made of um, glass, it's a blue glass and And they give you all the oceans uh, in, 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 in blue. And they give all the, and they give all the um, 
consonants in green, but they're very well depicted. And then this is the this is the fun of it. You can actually you can you can customize it. So she's customized it for her shop, which is called Joie de Vivre, Joy of Life. And then a the big arrow points up to well, can you see there's a tiny dot there which represents her exact location. Within the nearest 500 feet? No, the nearest 500 miles, actually. <laughs> she actually has a shop in uh, about a mile north of Harvard Square in Cambridge, just north of North Boston in, in Massachusetts. But what a nice idea to say, we are here, and a, a helpful arrow pointing to somewhere where you are at the nearest 500 miles. But there we are. It's a nice, nice idea as a little gift for people. So I'm very pleased to get that. So that's a, a good start to my Christmas, I felt. Some things I bought for myself and other ones um, came to me or else I bought them. And I think there's at least one more lot I must show you because at Christmas time, very often, I do find I'm getting things as well as being given nice gifts. It was a good Christmas for me. Was it for you? <laughs>